The medial collateral ligament, or MCL, helps stabilize the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, in the knee and protects it from injury. Over 60% of ACL injuries are combined with MCL tears. Untreated MCL injuries can lead to persistent laxity and an increased risk of ACL graft re-rupture, underscoring the importance of concomitant MCL treatment. However, the best method of MCL reconstruction that restores valgus stability and controls external rotation or ER and anteromedial rotatory instability or AMRI remains unclear. In a recent study in the American Journal of Sports Medicine, researchers compared the performance of different surgical MCL reconstruction techniques using nine cadaveric knees. The specimens were carefully prepared and secured in a kinematics rig, and the tibial and femoral coordinates were fixed using screws. Next, employing a stereo-optical system, the researchers measured knee stability over multiple flexion extension cycles. Additionally, they evaluated laxity and instability following application of load to the native knee. MCL reconstruction was carried out using an 8mm wide synthetic graft and isometric femoral graft tunnel using five different approaches. Isolated longer superficial MCL or SMCL, SMCL plus deep MCL or DMCL, isolated DMCL, short construct plus DMCL, and isolated short construct. Notably, MCL deficiency led to significant instability with an increase in ER by 4 to 14 degrees and valgus laxity by 5 to 8 degrees respectively between 0 and 100 degrees of flexion. No significant increase in anterior tibial translation was noted. The results suggested that all approaches except isolated long SMCL restored valgus, ER, and AMRI stability to a similar extent. Further, double-stranded grafts tended to provide greater stability compared to isolated reconstructions. Overall, these findings suggest that surgical MCL reconstructions with long or short isometric constructs, except long SMCL, offer better biomechanical stability than other contemporary techniques. Additional clinical studies are needed to account for the effects of tissue healing and autogenous tendons.